Welcome back to Space Games and Space Beer with NPC. Today I'm coming to a game called The Outer Worlds. I am quite positive you've heard of it. It was released to a lot of fanfare and some pretty good acclaim. It's made by Obsidian. They are known to many as the creators of Fallout New Vegas and what were some others? Uh, Alpha Protocol, which is one of my favorites. Uh, anyway, this was... <laughs> sort of their answer to fallout but it's fallout in space first person adventure you run around and have comical interactions with people and uh shoot a bunch of bad guys in space sounds pretty awesome i've played a lot of this but i'm starting fresh with a different type of character than i usually play so we'll see how this goes anyway today's <laughs> beer is the hazy frontier hazy ipa from stormbreaker brewing they are brewed and canned in portland oregon hmm let's see what are notes on this one uh aromas of passion fruit mango with flavors of grapefruit tropical fruit and hints of strawberry to boldly go where no beer has gone before 6.5 percent alcohol by volume 47 ibus Let's see if this is any good. Oh, yep. They said citrus. That's right. That's very citrusy. It is like a passion fruit smacked me in the face. But it's a good passion fruit. And it's a good little smacking. Like a, like a really soft facial rubbing, more like. Mmm. A caress. The delicious hops and passion fruit. All right. Let me get my FPS monitor up. And uh, yeah, let's get going with something brand new. We're going to do a new game. You know, I like to play in story mode because it's more fun. <laughs> subtitles, yes. Mark subtitles, yes. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that. Here we go. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, that sounds like a living hell. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, this is one of my favorite game introductions of all. It just gets right to the point tells you everything that you need to know and we can go ahead and start creating a character now i in the past have played this as a really charming really stupid brute i've enjoyed the low intelligence character options that you get however i think this time i'm gonna go with something a bit more Sneaky. I, I know that everybody, the, the running joke is, oh, a sneaky character plays <laughs> how original. I almost never play them. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do something a little different. 
I want to do some lock picking and some sciencing. That's what we want. Yeah. Okay, lock picking and sciencing. So in this case, I am. Um, oh dear, someone vandalized your hibernation chamber. <laughs> I forget about that. Yeah, I am not going to be very charming. Yeah, I am going to be. Well, you know what? Tell you what, we'll keep it even and see how far it can get us. I'll be as smart You'll as need fuck. All your wits to save your fellow colonists. There we go. I sharper than a terror ray. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. And must remember not to sneeze near you. Tactical time dilation. What? Oh. Muscular atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. I hope no. you won't yell at me the moment I wake you up. No regeneration, huh? Hmm. Oh yeah, and it's gonna reduce those skills. I, I don't want those to go down. So, uh... How would charm affect science? That's weird. Uh, huh. Interesting. Okay. Rather anemic, but at least you'll fit in. Okay, that's what we'll go with. What? Ah, keyboard. All right, we are going to go primarily tech. Look at that. A real scientist. You certainly know your way around a magnet. It's stealth. Oh, why can't I click it? Oh, well. Get one after two. This colony oh, does one. love its elevators. Class A. Oh, right. Test subject. We got enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct. Oh, hold on. Let's see what I got. Science, I've got that at 28. Engineering's also 28. Maybe I want to boost sneak in this case. I think if I can, that's what I'll do then. I'll go. What does sneak? Anything? Oh, nothing. Huh. Well. <laughs> uh. Huh. Anything? Well, lockpick's pretty good, but nothing raises sneak. Fascinating. Okay. Huh. Well. Scientist assistance it is. All right. Moving on. Appearance. I'm just going to hit random.
I'm not even drunk yet. And that's great. Okay. Oh, oh God. That's only the second one. Let's, let's see what else I can get. that speaks to me. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I gotta give this, <laughs> this guy. Um, <laughs> man, all my original plans are shot out the window. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. uh, <laughs> okay, uh, hmm, hmm. Chibo. We'll just go with Chibo. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh. That hurt. <laughs> to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. I prepare to be... Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This 
means that you and every other scholar's Dalaup have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Kind of a Wizard of Oz thing going on here. <laughs> All right. Anything. Let's, uh, I gotta check my controls real quick.
sneaky, sneaky. Hmm. Need a weapon. Oof. Whoa. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I want to eat you. I guess I can't eat you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired, right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> the Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Oh, Spacer's Choice. Such a, such a... Such a crap heap of a company. Well, they, they really all suck. <laughs> yeah. Take that. Oh, sure, I'll take that. that. Give me all the loot. Oh, that's right, I lowered my string, so I won't be able to take too much. That's all you got. Oof. Tactical time dilation. So if you've played the Fallout games, like Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, it's basically VATS. It's like a bullet time. Just move around. Don't think so. Hmm. 
Oh, oh, almost saw me there. So we're gonna do this the fun way. even a, a hammer can't even get your weapon oh yeah there we go all right i don't need all of these things but you never know what might be useful for selling I can have up to four weapons. Got it. Put that on there. Seven, eight, three. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Get how to use items. <laughs> okay, there's the bat timer. Oh, all right. Do, do, do. I don't know if this, I don't remember if this game has like sneak attacks, but we're about to find out. Ha <laughs> ha! 
didn't really need to do that. But it was fun. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, here we go. Let's put on some gear. Gun. Same as that one. Those are all the same. Okay. I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> well, that was easy. Okay, pretty anticlimactic here. But, yeah, sure, let's put the gun away. There we go. Have a little this chat. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. All right. And we've made it to our ship. I think that's a nice little intro for the game. <laughs> Not really much going on so far. You know, a standard first person shooter fair with a little bit of RPG mechanics and XP and kind of stuff like that. It's got a lot more freedom of choice in the way you can approach obstacles in the game um not quite sure how far i'm going to take this playthrough because with my other playthrough although i haven't finished it yet i am pretty far ahead and there's so much to do in this game that i'm kind of like eh, the idea of going back through all of it again is not super enticing but if people want to see me play through this with this hideous character yeah let me know anyway space games Space Beer. This has been The Outer Worlds from Obsidian Entertainment, and I'm drinking Stormbreaker's Hazy Frontier IPA. This one's this one this one's okay. I I don't know if I would go to this one again. I, I'm enjoying it, but it's something about this one is really give it building up like a a bit of throat clog, you know, a little bit of a congestion. Uh, sometimes IPAs do that to me, especially the those heavier on the hops uh, anyway 
Oh, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, my, oh, oh, I can't like turn it around. That's weak. Oh, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thanks for watching.